Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to share five things that I learned to help you become a better photographer. All right, let's kick off with lighting. Lighting in a photo is everything. In fact, the prefix photo is Greek for light. Learning the fundamentals of lighting is so important in making sure that you can take great photos. Whether you're working with natural light, continuous light or strobes, knowing how to manipulate this light and get it to work in your favor will up your photo game 100%. One thing that really made me a better photographer is starting with just one light. This allows you to see the effect that light has and then you can move it around and see how it changes your subject and your scene. Once you've really played around with that one light and you've tried overhead lighting, lighting from below, lighting from a 45 degree angle, then you can gradually start to add in more lights into your scene one by one and create the look that you're going for. But lighting isn't always about brightness, it's also about shadows. So knowing how to remove light and create flattering shadows is also really important. I could go on about lighting and lighting fundamentals forever. So if you want a more in-depth video, let me know in the comments down below. But just know it's very, very important to understand and also experiment with lighting. Number two, movement. Adding movement to a photo can really make it pop out the screen or the page. As humans, we don't just stand there, we move. You don't always want your subjects to just be there stiff, just giving you rigor mortis vibes. So adding movement to a photo can really make it feel more dynamic and more alive. Now you don't always have to do this, sometimes I like a static photo. But when you add a little bit of movement, whether it be a bit of wind in the hair or a flowy dress, or you get your subject to sort of step back and forth, even if it's something moving in the background and it's blurry, these subtle details can really elevate a photo and bring it to life. Number three, shoot raw. This is a bit of a techie one, but shooting in raw really upped my editing game. Now, if you've been shooting for a while, you're probably already doing this, but if you're newer to digital photography, shooting in raw basically means that your camera captures a bigger file with more information, which allows you to edit and manipulate the photo more in post-production. You can change the white balance to warm up or cool down your photos, and you can also better adjust your highlights and shadows, which is really helpful if you're shooting in natural light and you can't control the lighting as you would want to on set. Number four, shooting with purpose. This is one that I think a lot of people can struggle with, but when it comes to fashion and portraits, I really think it's important to shoot with purpose. At the end of the day, photography is an art form, and knowing what you want your photo to say or what emotions you want it to convey can really make the difference between a good photo and a great photo. Maybe you just want it to feel like a candid moment. Great, go for that. Perhaps you want your subject to feel vulnerable or strong, whatever it is. Have that vision in your head, create a mood board around it, try and convey that purpose to your model or your subject, and then create the vibe on set with lighting or music to really get that purpose across in the frame. Number five, have a good team. This one will change your life, no cap. If you wanna create amazing photos of people in fashion, you need to have a good team around you. When I first started out, I'd go out, I'd buy clothes, I'd meet up with a model and would shoot somewhere on the street. But it came to a point where, to elevate my work, I needed to take it further than that. I needed to find a stylist and a makeup artist at the very bare minimum. Once you find those people, not only is your work going to look more professional, they're also going to add another perspective and take your work even further with their creativity. But most importantly, it just allows you to focus on taking great photos. Imagine the model comes in, I have to do hair, makeup, sort out looks, set up the lighting, shoot them, check what the lighting's looking like, check how the photos are coming through on Capture One. At what point am I gonna really connect with my subject? At what point am I gonna really focus in on those subtle details that are gonna take this photo from good to great? Get yourself a reliable team. Try and connect with other creatives on Instagram. It will make all the difference. And finally, as a bonus tip, just have fun with it. Don't get caught up and try to follow too many rules on how to light and how to shoot. Just have fun with it and make sure that we can see you in your photos, your perspective, your vision. Make sure you let that shine through because that's what's gonna separate you from everyone else. That's it guys, those are my tips on how I became a better photographer. It's not always about what equipment or what gear you have, it's about taking that extra time to really try and focus on taking great photos. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. If you want me to go more in depth on any of the subjects I covered in this video, make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what you want to see. To check out more of my work, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ian Hippo and to see some behind the scenes action, make sure you check out my last YouTube video. And that's it, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.